Joining me now from Mallory Town, the uh, front of Young Township, I'm talking with a counselor, Mark Fancy, as well as a committee member uh, for this this organizing of the awards, the business awards. It happens to be Mike Purcell. So let's find out more about these business awards. Welcome to the program. So Thank you. Please yeah. tell us what what are these business awards? What are they? Well, um, this will be our third annual business and new business of, of the year awards. And the awards are to recognize businesses in, in the front of young community um, for their contributions, whether it's through customer service or um, through uh, th their supporting, uh, supporting the of the community, yes. etc. Uh -huh. So... Um, this year, um, as we have in the past two years, we will be recognizing a new business of the year. Uh, that's a business that's been in operation for five years or less. And okay. business of the year, which a business that's been operating more than five years, um, the businesses must be located in front of Young. Right. And uh, Mike can speak to the nomination process for that. So uh, the now nominations, are they open now? Yes, they're open now. They're open till. March 24th. Okay. Um, there's forms available online through the township, or you can call the Freddie Young Township 613-923-2251. And they're also available at the Maui Town Pharmacy, the Library, Township Office, or the Legion. And they're quite simple to fill out. Yes. And we encourage anybody uh, that wants to, to fill out and, and make a nomination. So if I'm from Brockville, if I know of someone, a business, in uh, in Mallory Town, Farm Young, can I nominate? Yes. I can? Yes, as long as the business is uh, based out of uh, Front of Young Township. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's great. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. It's nice to see. Last year, last two years, we have had people who, whether they've dropped by, you know, for example, last year, our brew solar brewery was one of our yes. uh, uh, was our uh, new business of the year, and lots of nominations from outside the community. Oh, that's yeah. That's nice. That's really really nice. Yeah. Okay. So um, the criteria for nominating is the criteria. Well, yes. The the things we we look at are. Uh, Community involvement, creativity, um, sustainability, slightly different for new business and business of the year, but yes, uh, yes. Um, but the forms are quite simple to, to go through. And uh, and then there'll be uh, three people uh, judging uh, and, we'll, and a winner will be chosen. And uh, and when when uh, when do you present the awards? The awards will be presented at uh, a breakfast to be held on Friday, April the 12th at 8 o'clock at the Legion. Okay. And I wanted to mention, too, the, uh, we're quite proud of, of the awards themselves because each year um, we choose a, a, an artist, we commission an artist to design the award. So every year the award is a little bit different. It's so the, this year yeah. uh, the artist is Ida Brown, a, a local resident who's quite delighted to be uh, designing uh, a, a, a awards that reflect the landscape of the area as well. I think that's really Yeah, really yeah. Nice so we idea. just choose a, a local artist and instead of, you know, just getting a a plaque that, uh, yeah. that we actually uh, give the winners a, a piece of art. So no, I like that yeah. idea, yeah. and and it's different each year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you look back, oh, that one was from two thousand and whatever. Yes, That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like you know, very yeah. a lot of thought went into this. Yeah. 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 So what about a, a home based business? Are they included uh, in like yep. businesses? Yeah, we've had businesses nominated that were like a bookkeeping business, mm -hmm. uh, accounting businesses. Absolutely. Yep. So, is there space at the end of the um, the forms that they're filling out if they wanted to put something extra? Absolutely. The form is pretty open ended. We've been, we've revised it. We I okay. think we got with the first year we were so conscious of getting every little detail in there. Now we've pretty much uh, we've um, mentioned as as Mike did that we will be looking at those those um, factors when we're making a decision. But we've left it pretty open ended as to what people want to write. We want them to speak, tell the story of yes. what, and yes. w of why they're taking the time to nominate this business. Exactly. Oh, I love it. I, I yeah. think that's just super great. Um, so now, the breakfast is happening on the 12th of yes. April. Yes. And it's, um, um, if people are, do you need people to register for any of this? Yes. yes. Prior to yes. coming? 
Yeah, they need to. Uh, they do need to register. There uh-huh. is um, an Eventbrite form on online, or they can call the township office, and as Mike mentioned, six one three nine two three two two five one, and register by telephone. Um, our guest speaker for the event will be uh, Charlie Mignot, who's the commissioner of the Economic uh, Corridor Development yes. Commission. And of course, as as you know, they're doing all kinds of interesting yeah. um, things together, municipal working together to to bring um, new businesses, businesses into our community. So it'll be interesting to get an update from Charlie because I know a lot's been going on. There has been, and I, I really like the idea that they started this this um, uh, organization to, yes. to help bring in, and that everybody is collaborating. Everybody is, is coming together and saying, I can offer this and I can offer that. So why not? Yeah, it's a good opportunity. It really, really is. Yeah. So is there a pancake breakfast that's coming up? Mike? Yes, there is. The uh, okay. Fire Young Fire Department is hosting. Uh, so people should be aware of that. Pancake breakfast, yes. Yay, that's nice. <laughs> Tell us about the documentary. Yes, well, this is going to be a, it, an interesting event for Front of Young for sure. Um, the uh, Mallory Coach House C- Committee and uh, St. Paul's, Paul's Presbyterian Church will be screening um, Operation Relief on uh, Sunday, March 24th at 2 p.m. Yes. And this is it's a fascinating story of... Uh, the Can Air Relief uh, Operation that supported over a million um, residents of Nigeria who were involved in the Biafran War. So this would have taken place around 1969. And the interesting local connection is the last surviving pilot from that operation is living in front of Young. Wow. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Plus the yes. So it's um, you, you pay at the door, and it's a five dollar um, entrance fee at the community hall in okay. in uh, Mallory Town. All right, would you please tell us about the food drive that's coming up? Yes, all the fire departments in Leeds and Grenville are um, having a food drive on March sixteenth. The one in uh, Mallory Town is going to the firefighters will be set up outside the Mallory Town Fresh Mart grocery store for a few hours on in the morning. Uh, yes. People can donate money or uh, food items food items absolutely mm-hmm. and they'll be distributed to the local food banks in, in Leeds and Grenville what a great idea yeah. I love it anything else that you can think of that you'd like our viewers to know as to what's going on in Mallory town well uh, have a look at the young and bloom Facebook page yes. because their spring gardening seminar which is very popular <laughs> is coming up <laughs> I know it's a $30 registration fee and a wonderful lunch and a wonderful opportunity to talk to other gardeners some great seminars planned but all the information is on their their Facebook Taylor. page okay. and um, yeah register early because it's always sold out so. yeah and you want to be disappointed <laughs> yeah. okay well, thank you both for coming in and sitting down with me and tell me thank you, you know, for having us what's going on in mallory town in front of young township because you people are always so busy out there <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for all your support Doris. Yes. we really appreciate it oh hey that's what we're here for